Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 52 in chapter 4. In this one, this is the following up problems for 51. We still look at the systems A and B and figure out its acceleration. And uh, we can see there we choose the horizontal as x component, the vertical down as y component. And then we draw the free body pictures for the object A and B. First, we look at object B. We have gravity, the tension from the object from the cable, and then we look at the object A. We have the gravity, the normal force, and also the tension from the cable. Then we can write Newton's second law. For Newton's second law, we can see for this one at the y component, we have the gravity minus the tension equals mass times acceleration. And then for the object A at x component, we have the net force is on x component is only Ft, the tension equals the mass times the acceleration. And there, A and B are in the same system, right? So the acceleration is same. Therefore, we can solve the acceleration. You can see we can input the Ft inside and then solve it. We find the acceleration is just the mbg divided by the mass ma plus mb. So this one. Do you agree? Yes. And then we input the known quantities. We can get the final, final acceleration, 2.7 meter per second square. The next problem tell you, we know for object A, we know its initial velocity. We know its displacement. Can you find its t? Sure, because we know we know the acceleration at the very beginning. After we know the acceleration, you can see initial velocity and the dx. It's easy for us to get the t, right? Use this equation. So this equation is the dis displacement with of velocity and the time and acceleration. This one. So you can see this displacement is given. Initial velocity is zero, and the acceleration is given. So it's easy to get the t, the time taken. The next problems tell you uh, if in this case the mass of the b becomes one kilogram, uh, we want to make the acceleration to be one hundred percent of g, right? Just uh, g divided by one hundred, and then ask you how much m a must be to keep this system, uh, follow the these rules. So we still consider we get the function the acceleration with the mass from the a right from the equation a. So in this one similarly we write this equation again. This is the acceleration equals the function of the mass a and b. And then in this case we want to make sure the acceleration is just one hundred percent of the g. So in this one we can solve this equation. G and g can be cancelled. We can get the relationship between A and B. And it's a problem tell you the MB is given is one kilogram. Therefore, the mass A can be five. Thank you.